welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today, I'm excited to show you guys Serato Sample 2 inside of Reaper. I'm gonna show you how it actually works. I'm gonna show you some of the STEM things that you can do in there and then we'll make a beat. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this is the Reaper Tips theme that I'm actually using in here today. Really, really cool. I really like the way it's laid out. If you haven't watched my other video showing you that I was trying out different themes, the video should be up above showing you different themes that you can actually use inside of Reaper. So I have a song that I've actually created. This is my song. It's actually out there for release. It's called Who Won It? Um, it's on all major streaming platforms if you want to hear the complete entire song. I'm just using it for this video just because I don't want to get any kind of copyright strikes from anything else. Let's get into this. I took off the link to sync it up to the actual DAW. So you have an option to take that off. So you can take off the syncing of the sample itself. It'll tell you what key or tune it is actually in. It'll tell you the name of the track and the beats per minute, which it says 70. Right, and over here is where you have your different things where you can isolate. So this is for vocals. This is for melodic elements like pianos, guitars, sounds, basically. This is your bass. This little guitar looking one is the bass. And this here is your drums, right? So you have an option to do mono and poly, uh, different ways to play it going straight through or like the MPC style where you kind of just hit one button and it'll keep going. And of course you have your play button. You have an option to undo and redo here at the top. Um, you still have your options for your levels, uh, for your filters, for your attack release. You actually have an option to reverse the sample still as well. And the star here to favorite whatever chops you actually do. You can do time stretching and key shifts down here as well. And of course you have option to change or find samples. And we'll go over that a little bit later in the video and show you how to do that. And of course it has an option to actually play out whatever note or key you have onto all the tracks. So um, I'm just gonna play the song so you can kind of hear it really quickly. I'm gonna play right here from this little bridge part. Who want it? You ask yourself, do you really want this? Who want it? The time's ticking, give it all or nothing. Who want it? I stay hoodie up, hands ready. Who want it? You want it? Who want it? You want it? Who want it? You ask yourself, all right, so basically that is how the song actually sounds. And with this cool tool now, I can kind of isolate the vocals. Um, it does a pretty good job. It's not perfect. Um, I don't think it's meant to be perfect. It's just an option that you can have so you can kind of filter out some of the sounds inside of the samples. But this is what it sounds like with just the vocals. As you see, it just isolated all the vocals by itself. You'll hear a little bit of the artifact just because of the sounds that I actually use in the track kind of mimic the human voice a little bit. So you'll hear it in the background. The time's ticking, give it all or nothing. Who want it? Stay hoodied up, hands ready. Who want it? You want it? Who want it? You want it? Who I'm at the gym every day, pressing iron with my chest. Biceps bulging like it's coming out my flesh. Right? So you have that option to do just the vocals and isolate them inside the track, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can have it to where you want to do just the uh, the sounds or the elements inside of it. And like I said, it's not perfect, but it actually does pick up a lot of the sounds that are actually in there. And if you actually filtered it out a little bit more, you can create your own new sample. And I, that's pretty much what this is for, is creating a new sample, not actually just stripping everything from the other one, but it does give you a nice feel of where the track is actually going. And you have the option for a bass. So this is just the bass. All right, so pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it actually gives you an option for just the bass on there. And then this one here is just for the drums. So you can just play the drums by themselves as well. All 
I think it does a pretty good job at separating the stuff. So this way, if you actually wanted to take like the drum pattern, you can kind of take it from this and make your own drums underneath it to make it sound a little different and a little better. But this is the gist of what they have done with Serato 2.0. I think they did a great job. Uh, this is what some people have been asking for for a long time. Um, and then you can just do kind of like combinations. If I want to do like the bass and just the drums, I can do that. If I want to just do the instruments well, no vocals. Gonna do vocals. They label me a menace. No drums. In this cold world, I remember doing things that'll make your blood curl. My eyes on the prize, my targets in sight. I'm about to put them down that long kiss. Storm, the stench in the air. I'm a real gladiator and I show no fear. So who want it? You ask yourself, do you really want this? Who want it? Time's ticking, give it all or nothing. Who want it? All right. So with that being said, this is how Serato sample will actually function inside of Reaper. Let's make a beat real quick. All right, so I did find a cymatic sample that I'm gonna be using. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Right, so uh, what I can do, um, I could take out the bass in the track, so that way uh, it's not going to play the bass. Right, and then what I can do is have it actually find the sample. So what I'll do is go to. I'm going to set random and have it randomly cut the sample up. All right, so now on the keyboard, I have. All right, so I have them sliced up on here now. Let me just add some drums and then we'll layer the sample on top of the drums. All right, so I was able to find a drum loop in here, and this is what the drum loop sounds like. All right, just something to uh, kind of give a nice little bounce and groove to the sample itself. So we're gonna chop up the sample now and see what we can come up with. Just lay down a nice little chop inside there for the sample. This is what it sounds like right now. All right, so what I want to do is just add like a bass line on here. I'm um, going to go through the cheat codes, as you already know. I'm going to put my complete control on this uh, Mudo bass. And I just want to probably use the studio bass for this one. And um, yeah, let's see what we can come up with. So uh, in order to add the effects, I can go here to this effects. And I want to go to complete control and add. All right, and here we are in complete control. I'm gonna go to these three notes here. I'm gonna turn on scale. I'm gonna go to E, and we're gonna go to minor. So now, I'm always in key 
uh, with this method. All right, so I'm just gonna lay down a base. All right, just something really to kind of set the mood for the track itself with the sample. All right, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna duplicate this Serato sample and see if we can just kind of mess with the sample itself. So I'm gonna duplicate this track. So it'll copy everything exactly how it is. I'm gonna mute this first one and let's go in here. And we'll try a different couple of th different things. I'm gonna do this select all. So this will select every single chop that I have in here and let's hit on reverse. So it will reverse every single sample that we actually used. All right, so I need to find where the other reverse is because it's it won't reverse this because there's nothing to go backwards to. So I need to find another one back here somewhere with that same exact uh, chop. So what I can do is go into the MIDI. I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right. And Let's see if we can find that key. So it's this one. This one. This one. I'm gonna take off the key snap. So we're gonna move these bottom ones down here. So I'm gonna right click and drag across them. And I'm gonna hit the number eight on the keyboard and drag them up to that note. So now we have this. I think it could be cool for something in the middle. Um, let's try to filter it out and see if that'll help. So there we have something that we kind of use maybe as an intro, maybe a bridge, something like that inside of the track itself. So let's get into the mixing of the track itself and I'll be right back and show you the finished product. All right, so I was able to mix down the track itself. If you wanna see how I mixed it down, all the steps I took, the EQs and things that I added onto the track, become a member of the channel. I have a membership and you can be able to see exactly what I did to make this beat sound the way it does. But uh right now inside of reaper i have it to where i started with the reverse sample then i went with the full regular forward facing sample that i chopped up um with the drums i added some breaks inside of the drums some crashes and i added or like a reverse symbol this crash and this reverse symbol comes from my smash kit so if you haven't downloaded the smash kit the link is below in the description you can download that for free but without further ado let's listen to the track
All right, so let me know what you guys think of this new Serato 2.0 sampler. I think it's worth it. Uh, if you haven't already purchased it, uh, you know, they have raised the prices. I should have a link below in the description. You can actually go and download and purchase this uh, if you want to. Um, if you have come from the old Serato sample, it is a free update. So if you already purchased Serato sample, go to the site and you can download the 2.0 update for free. Uh, with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video here showing you Serato 2.0 inside of Reaper. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.